Unlike hydrocarbons, unlike oil and gas products that are consumed when you use them, these elements and batteries, if handled correctly, are never consumed. Once they're put into the field, they can essentially last there indefinitely. So as we now move to a circular economy, a lot of what we've been doing is making these relationships with companies up and downstream of us in the circular economy that really let us form these types of relationships and alliances and partnerships that make this one single entity. So as we work with the big you know, automotive OEMs and the cell manufacturing companies and the chemical refiners, we're able to essentially make one loop per geographic region, which can essentially support this entire industry. And when you do that, you have that you know, guaranteed security of supply. You have much lower cost of supply by working across those different boundaries. And you have that visibility into your supply chain and its you know, environmental impact. So it's something that's already happening as we formalize these relationships. But I would just say that to think about this much more as a circular economy, instead of a linear one and the advantages that we can have by only you know mining these metals once and then having access to them indefinitely going forward.